Hello and welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Well, right now I'm in the Mazer kitchen with Rebecca Gordon. And today we're making some sweet treats for your next cookie swap. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I'm I, excited. The holidays are here. They have finally arrived. And you know what? I love cookie swaps because it's a fun way to try a variety of cookies. It is. It's a great way to do that. A cookie swap, a cookie exchange. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a classic gingerbread recipe that's a little bit of a shortcut. And then we're going to shape them two different ways so that you have two different flavors you can share with your friends. Okay, great. So we're making gingerbread cookies. We're making gingerbread cookies. Oh, perfect. And instead of rolling the dough, we're going to actually shape the dough with our hands. And so I'm going to do a thumbprint version where we fill the center with chocolate or um, just a snowball version where you can kind of toss it in some powdered sugar and just roll it into a ball once once you bake it. Okay, what are we mixing right now? Okay, so in the, in the mixer, I have a cup of butter along with two tablespoons of molasses. Now the molasses is gonna give us that traditional gingerbread flavor along with some spices that we'll add. Okay. Now to make this super easy, I've got just some all-purpose flour and some uh, powdered sugar and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Ooh, yummy. And then I do love some toasted pecans. Okay. So I have ground up, uh, toasted the, uh, toasted a half cup of pecans and ground them fine. And that goes into our mixture as well. And then just a little bit of salt to kind of bring all those flavors together. And once you whisk this together, it's sort of like a shortbread dough. We're not going to add an egg to it or anything like that. Okay. We're just going to add it right into our mixer. Oh, nice. And I'm just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. But then, once we add this, um, these dry ingredients in, it's just going to take a couple of spins on the mixer before it's all ready to go. Oh, and that's then super we'll easy. shape it into our different shapes. Now, what's your favorite holiday cookie? Because there's so many. There are so many. <laughs> you know, I'm sort of known for a sugar cookie, quite honestly. Just really? a basic sugar cookie where you roll the dough and cut it with shapes and then decorate it in lots of different ways. So, um, you know, it's always fun to have my nieces and nephews over oh, and get the frosting out and, you know, glaze them and then get the sprinkles and yes. the glittery things. They love the glittery things. Listen, we'll go to the I'll craft the store and yeah. get all the colors and then, you know, I let them pick like, you know, of course they got pinks and purples instead of reds and greens. Right. But, you know, <laughs> whatever is, makes them happy. Whatever you like. And this is a fun activity to do with the whole family. Just get them yes. in, putting in the different ingredients, totally. and then you'll have a great treat at the end. Okay, so we've got our dough together. And once that's together, you're just going to take little bits of dough. Okay. And then roll that into a ball. And you can bake them just like that. You'll just fill your pan. Or for a second variation, same dough. Uh -huh. You're just going to roll it into a ball and then you're just gonna press your thumb in the center, and then I'll show you in the next block how to kind of dress these up and get okay. them ready to give to, you know, host a party where you can give a dozen to your friends and you all get to go home with about six dozen cookies of different flavors. Um, and it's just a real fun, easy thing to do during the holidays. Perfect, do you host a lot of cookie swaps? I do, really? I do, yes, absolutely. And it's good because you only have to make your batch of the cookies. Right, you do. You make your batch and you always want to make sure that you have, you know, one that makes about five or six dozen. Okay. And then have your friends over and then, you know, everybody, you know, kind of decide what you want to make ahead of time. Like, okay. you know, maybe it's a chocolate chip cookie, you know, because people do like a chocolate chip cookie it's during the deal. holidays. I mean, who didn't love a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> um, but everybody brings something different and then I'll show you how you can package those up so they're easy to take with you as well. Okay, because that's really important. Yes, it is, because these are going to have chocolate in the center, so you want to make sure they're in the right packaging to get them home safely. Oh, touche. Okay, can't wait yeah. for that, Rebecca. We'll do that in a moment. Well, stay with us. We have much more coming up. We're going to have a first-hand look inside a local spa that can help you look and feel your best this holiday.